All concerned parents have questions about their child's curriculum of study. At the British School of Nanjing, we follow the English curriculum. The strength of the British curriculum is that you will see subjects, traditional subjects, that you recognize. English or literacy, maths, or sometimes numeracy, history, geography, science. But underpinning all this curriculum are the values, the attitudes, the belief system that we share. So for example, we hold knowledge and skills in equally high regard. All our lessons are placed in a context. For example, in maths, we might be looking at measuring. But without a context to place that measurement, for example, looking at water usage around the world, our lessons are valueless. That's the strength of the British curriculum. The foundation stage introduces the concepts of numbers and phonics, while key stage one cements strategies for successful reading and comprehension. We're really lucky at BSN. We have a huge range of resources. Our teachers have a huge range of experience from the ages they teach to the languages of the children they've taught. Our EAL teachers speak at least two languages themselves. So this means we really understand some of the problems and the solutions to learning a foreign language. What's most important for us is that the children feel comfortable, that they're excited about learning a new language, about discovering a new world, and that they can take this with them for academic success and for their own personal happiness throughout their lifetime. In Key Stage 2, we increase competences in English, mathematics and science, while lessons in Key Stage 3 are more specialised with a formalised delivery. It's not a collection of defined topics such as the Victorians or Shakespeare that need to be done in certain classes. It's very much a skills-based curriculum. So within something like history, it would define the skills needed to be a good historian to compare different sources, for example. This flexibility is also its strength because it allows us in somewhere like Nanjing to play to our strengths. So for example, in year four, Instead of a unit on explorers such as Columbus, we do a unit on Marco Polo. We're very much looking at the same skills. Children learn the same kind of abilities. They learn to be historians, but it opens up a world here that we can access. We can visit sites, we can refer to China. By maintaining a curriculum that is both broad and balanced and enhancing traditional academic values with more physical and creative pursuits, we aim to instill a passion for learning in each and every child. Welcome to the British School of Nanjing.